Hello, and welcome to Purdue University's CS180X Computer Science A online course. Uh, today is going to be a tutorial on how to set up Dr. Java, which is called an integrated development environment, as well as the Java JDK, which is the Java development kit. Now, what an integrated development environment lets us do is it lets us code in a way that uh, highlights our syntax errors and just makes it a lot easier on us. So we're going to make sure that we get set up with that. So first, the thing we should do is just search Dr. Java. Okay. Once you've searched Dr. Java inside Google or whatever search engine you might want to use, we're going to go to drjava.org. Once we're on drjava.org, we're going to see a header that says current stable release. Okay. This is where we're going to want to get our Dr. Java executable file. So if we want to actually be able to run this, we should download the Windows app. So let's go ahead and click this, download Windows app. It's going to take us to sourceforge.net, which is just a place that we can get a lot of different files. Um, you'll see a lot of different sites that have open source um, programs uh, go through SourceForge. So if we look down here at the bottom of our screen, you'll see that there is a dialog box that popped up. Now I'm using Chrome. And whether you use Mozilla Firefox or you use Internet Explorer or even Opera, you may also get prompted um, that this may contain a harmful file. So you're going to want to go ahead and just say keep, accept, or whatever you might need to do to make sure that you actually download the Dr. Java file. Okay, so now it looks like Dr. Java has been downloaded. So if we just go ahead and click on it, it's going to start opening it. And it says, oh no. This application requires a Java runtime environment 1.5.0. And the reason for that is because we have, we have to still install our Java in the first place. We have to install Java. We have to install the Java development kit. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click OK. It's going to redirect us to a new page. Now this page is going to let us download the actual Java that we need to to be able to run these different programs to download the development kit. So as of today, which today is, I believe, September 3rd, 2016, uh, the newest update is version 8, update 101. And it says that we can just click here for the free Java download. So I encourage you to go ahead and just do that. Click for the free Java download. And now it detected what type of computer we have. We have Java for Windows. And so now we just go ahead and say agree and start free download. Okay. So if you'd like to, you can look at the, uh, the terms of this end user license agreement. Uh, before you actually agree to it and start the free download. But just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just click this in this video. Again, let's go ahead and say keep. I'm totally fine with having this uh, on my computer. So now if we click this executable, it's going to open up this Java installer. And with this Java installer, it's going to actually get all the resources we need to put Java onto our home computer, whether it's a laptop, desktop, doesn't matter, so long as it's a Windows computer. Okay, so it says, welcome to Java. Java provides access to a world of amazing content, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it does. Java is really a wonderful language. So if you want to see more information about what sort of information Java collects, you can go ahead and click here. Um, as soon as you click install, you're actually accepting the license agreement. So again, I encourage you to read that, but in this video, we're not going to read it. So click install. So now we had a dialog box for Java setup. So we can get the best of the web with Yahoo if we want to. But what this is really just going to do is it's going to end up cluttering up your, uh, your browser bar, which you don't really want to do. So go ahead and say, do not update browser settings, unless you really want to have the Yahoo tab there, in which case, go right ahead. Okay. So now if I've hit next, it's actually going to start installing Java on our computer. As you can see, 3 billion devices run Java, so this is a very ubiquitous language, and it's a good one to learn. Awesome. So now we see that it says that we have ins successfully installed Java, um, and now it's going to prompt us about updates and whatever. Uh, we can just go ahead and close out of this. So now you officially have Java on your computer. Yay, yay. However, we can't so easily go immediately back and just get our, um, our Dr. Java executable that we just downloaded. So the way that you're going to get back to that executable that you downloaded is to go to your downloads folder. Now, one way to do that is to click on your file system. That could be either located inside of the Windows button here on your home page, or uh, maybe you have an icon for the file system. But in the file system, you want to navigate to downloads. So I went ahead and created a shortcut on my um, desktop for this. So we click here. 
it'll take us to our downloads page. Here it is. Okay, so this is going to be our Dr. Java executable that we want to actually run. Now, I could just run it from here, but I think it's a lot easier, really, to just create a shortcut so you can access Dr. Java from the front page, or your desktop page, I should say. So if you right-click it, you can actually navigate all the way down to the Send To option on any Windows system and go over to Desktop and create a shortcut. And as soon as we do that, we're able to minimize this and look at our desktop, and there it is. There's Dr. Java Stable Shortcut. And if you want to rename this, that's fine. Uh, just go ahead and right-click it, rename it. Uh, we'll call it Dr. Java. Okay? So now we have an icon for our Dr. Java program. So now we just double-click this. And now there it is. Dr. Java is officially running on your computer. Exciting. So now um, this just means that Dr. Java is loading. So we'll give it just a sec. All right, so let's read this. Do you want to associate .java, Dr. Dr. Java, and .dj app files with Dr. Java? So for right now, I would say go ahead and click yes so it's easier to set up. This is not going to make it so it always happens. And you can always change this by going to the preferences tab under and then look under miscellaneous file types. Okay. So we'll just select yes for now. And here it is, Dr. Java, the one, the only, the great Dr. Java. I don't know where he got his doctorate degree from. 